Winter in Alaska may be my favorite time of the year. Everywhere you look is just gorgeous, and the silence and the calm when you're walking the trails just takes your breath away. Well, the cold air helps take your breath away also, but it's definitely worth it. And the snow that covers everything, just magical. As for photography, it's even more awesome, and at the same time extremely challenging with all the white to expose for the cold. A little harder even to get around and move to the spots you'd like to due to the impassable conditions of the snow. It does make the wildlife easier to see due to the underbrush and leaves being gone, but also sometimes a little more scarce as wildlife preserving energy due to the cold and scarcity of the food sources. When out looking for the fox in the winter, a lot of times it's just a fleeting glimpse and a lot of days no sightings at all, or you just can't get a shot as they're just too far away, too many obstructions between you and the fox, or it just happens too fast. But luckily on this day, the food sources the foxes were after, I had a clear shot from across the creek. And a bit later, they ended up coming across the creek to the edge of the trail and sat to check out what was going on. This is one of the first true Nikon Z9 excursions I'd been on and the camera performed well. The autofocus system seems to like foxes. I found that for foxes and dog species, it really likes to be in 3D tracking and set with animal auto detect. I've paired up with the Canon EF500 F4 and the EF7200 lenses using the Fringer adapter for this outing and they both worked very well. Now back to the foxes. Lucky for me the fox were out foraging for choke cherries and the choke cherry trees and the foxes love these little berries. The riper more black the berry becomes the berry gets a bit sweeter and still a bit sour. Foxes in this region usually wait until early winter to start foraging for these berries due to the ripeness and the taste. Choke cherry bushes can grow about a 20 feet tall and they're fairly prevalent around the trail systems here in Anchorage. During the winter, we can find foxes about 15 feet in the tree sometimes climbing trying to get to these berries. So this little girl is courageous. She's a climber. Now, it doesn't always work out well, and you see from here, she cracks me up. If they end up eating all the berries they can reach, they'll shake the limbs on the tree and make the berries fall off onto the ground and they'll jump down and eat them. It's so neat to watch. Now a bit of a note or a tip for shooting in the snow. If your exposure is in the middle or to the left, you'll notice your snow will be gray or more than likely it'll have a blue tint to it. And this is due to the camera in value of metering mode is doing 50% gray, and it doesn't really know what to do with that snow. So it's trying to correct that. So how do you correct that in the camera? Well, you want to overexpose your image by shooting more to the right. And you can do this by setting your exposure compensation to plus one or plus 1.5. And I, basically what I do is I shoot manual, so I just add more ISO to the image to overexpose a little more, move it to the right, and that helps the image. And seeing that our fox is a darker color, we don't really have to worry about blowing out the highlights for our fox. We may want to watch that white of its fur a little bit. Unless we have full sun, which is not really an issue here in Alaska, as in the winter, our sun is almost at sunset all day. And sometimes it doesn't even clear the mountains, depending on where you're shooting at that day. After the foxes got tired of tree climbing parkour, they started looking for voles and just checking out the trails and relaxing. And this is where it got to be fun, as I could get low and fill the frame more with the fox and get some nice portraits. Lucky for me, she lined up perfectly with some spruce behind her with snow on the branches, which made for some great background and bouquet. It couldn't have worked out better.
One of the other foxes popped up behind us, which had the willows with the frost behind it, which made for a really neat scene. Luckily, the fox stayed around long enough for me able to get down on the ground and get the barrel of the lens right around the snow to give a really neat foreground blur and a nice background bouquet. Just made for some really magical and dreamy photographs. This was a great day I got to spend with these foxes from watching their tree climbing ability and ingenuity to get the berries outside of their reach to have them get close enough to get some great head shots. If you like this video and you're enjoying the channel and would like to help support the channel, click the join button on the channel page to become a member. It's as low as a dollar a month or just hit the super thanks button. This just helps us rent or buy equipment and just get to the locations to film the content. Again, thanks so much for watching, like, subscribe, watch the video to the end and all those things. Oh, and we hit 4,000 subscribers, we'll do another print giveaway and we're only 500 from that number right now. Until next time, stay safe and go run that shutter. Mm -hmm.